Ooh. <coughs> Nothing came out there. Tried to talk. Did not work. <coughs> We're good now. I got my the 1975 shirt on. Represent, represent. Such a good band. Just saying, if you haven't listened to them, listen to them. All right. There you go. There you go. Read it. Read it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Question number five is when you, when you do, when you forget the question. <laughs> yep. Hey guys, it's Jay and I'm here with the Socially Awkward book tag. It was created by Sarah over at Crawford of Reads. I wasn't actually tagged by anybody, but I mean it's called the Socially Awkward book tag and I'm like the queen of being socially awkward so I figured I need to film this. It needs to be done. So it's happening. There are eight questions that I'm supposed to be answering, so without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> the first question is, when you go to a party and don't know anybody, a favorite standalone, and I am going with Fateful by Claudia Gray. I recently read this, and it is such a good book. I gave it 3.5 stars out of 5. It's honestly, I didn't think it would be very good because... I thought it would be like your typical paranormal romance, but it was really good, and it has werewolves in it, and I haven't read a werewolf book since Twilight, and Twilight Twilight was just like, meh, you do nothing with your life, Jacob, like, do something to make your life better, and the werewolf in this book is so attractive, he's so cute, and it's just, it's such a good book, guys, it's such a good book. I expected to hate this book, and I ended up reading it in one night and staying up till like 3 a.m. just so I could read it. The second question is when you join a random conversation by laughing when everybody else laughs, a book that cracked you up, and I'm going with Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. I was literally on the go train on my way to Toronto for basketball practice, and I started laughing, and this guy was like staring at me being like, what is wrong with you, you freak? And I was like, bruh. If you read this book, you would know why I'm laughing because it is hilarious and Anna makes me die. The third question is when you aren't sure if you should give someone a hug or handshake, a book that you weren't sure about, and I am going with Shadow Kiss by Rochelle Mead. This is the third book in the Vampire Academy series. I've only read up to this book because the ending of this book gave me the biggest book hangover in my entire life because something happens and I'm not going to say it because spoilers but uh, Rochelle Mead why you do this to me why you do this to me that's all I'm going to say question number four is when you're walking with confidence before you trip and fall which is basically my life all the time and it is a book that started well but you didn't like the ending to and I'm going with If I Stay by Gail Foreman I love this book I gave it a four out of five stars on Goodreads it was so good and then the ending came and it just seemed really rushed and I didn't like it and I just, I feel like it could have been better done, but you know. I'm not the writer, I'm just the reader so can't complain. Question number five is when you think of two words at once like awesome and rockin' and you end up saying something like awkin' and it is a book you don't understand and I am going with a cheese stealer's handbook. By this guy, who I'm not even going to try to say his name, that guy, there you go, because how do you say that? I don't know. But I read this book I think a year ago and it it's really short so I was like oh it's gonna be a super easy read. I just what? It didn't make any sense to me. Half of the time I was sitting there like okay like why is this relevant to the story at all? So it just wasn't for me. I just, nope. Did not like it. Nope. Okay. Moving on. Question number six is when you realize your shirt is inside out. A book that you liked but didn't like the cover to and I'm going with Perfect Chemistry by Simone Eccles. It's like the worst cover ever. Not the worst cover ever, but I mean like you could do so much better for the story. Honestly, I wouldn't pick it up if I just saw this. I only got it because I needed something to read on a road trip and I ended up loving the book. I'm pretty sure I gave it 5 out of 5 or 4 out of 5 stars. I ignore the cover. Ignore it. Question number 7 is when you say something you shouldn't at a job interview or in class which is literally my life. One time at a job interview for American Eagle, I told them that I couldn't wear any of their clothing because I was far too tall. So, needless to say, I did not get the job. And it is for a book that you love but has a lot of cursing, and I'm going with Dead to You by Lisa McMahon. I'm currently reading this book, and I'm really enjoying it. I'm only like 60 pages in, but it's really good. But it has a lot of swearing in it. So, you know, 
Swearing is bad, children. Don't do it. And the final question is when you do a goofy dance with your awkward friends and it is a book with an awkward main character and I am going with Withering Tights by Louise Renison. And the main character is Tallulah Cassie. She is the most awkward human being in the entire world and I want to be her friend because she is perfection and I love her. Alright guys, so that was the socially awkward book tag. I will leave who I'm tagging down below in the boxy thingy. I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!